Hi guys, welcome to another behind the scenes technical. I'm Michael Worthington and this is 101 Media Group. Since we've been doing these shows, we get quite a few questions about how we use equipment and some of the technicalities sitting behind it. Really happy to share this information with you and help you out. You know, I've been helped, everyone on the YouTube channels has been, and especially those guys that go out and do live streaming and recording for our clients. One of the questions that came up was about the Latte Panda. What do we do with a Latte Panda? How do we use it? What's its benefits? And a lot of stuff like that. Okay. Two things. First of all, we do studio recording as well. So in a studio setting, the, by the way, the monitor at the back showing the blue screen, that's Windows 10, that's the Latte Panda now in output mode. In a studio, I can put up a PowerPoint presentation and it means that I put that up and I can project it onto the screen. So it means that the clients and the talent that are actually presenting the show can watch their own PowerPoint presentation and talk themselves through it. Uh, makes it really easy. The um, HyperDeck Studio Mini is what we do all our recording on using SD drives. Uh, they are cards. Excellent. It's in the machine, so that's why I got the box out just to show you what I was talking about. So that works really, really well in the studio. Uh, and that's the Latte Panda. If we're in a live event, however, that is not what we want. We want a bit more flexibility and a little bit more control. We want to decide whether the viewers watching the live stream just get the whole screen full of the PowerPoint presentation when they're talking about it, or whether they want to get a wide shot so they can see the presenter and see the PowerPoint being presented, being um, yeah, projected up on the screen behind. For that, we'd run the PowerPoint through a separate laptop through their projector system and we use a Digitech. This is a, a splitter, a visual splitter. It's a three-in-one HDMI uh, UHD splitter. It's got three inputs, so we can get two laptops coming into this and our switcher unit coming into this. So we're, our program outputs come into this as well. And there's the output there that goes into projectors. Three comes in and that goes out. That's what we use it for there. That's live streaming. So live streaming an event, recording event, that then allows your... Um, a PowerPoint to be being projected up onto the screen so the audience can see it and participate. You can then get the choice of mixing your cameras from being a wide view, looking at it, or you can flick the thing into pre uh, program view and you can get the actual whole PowerPoint as you want it. Um, the other advantage here is that while the laptop is running the PowerPoint presentation, for instance, your Latte Panda can be doing other things. It can have other graphics loaded. It can have uh, weather maps loaded. It can serve someone's um, website. So we can go and have a look at somebody's website. And again, it gives the presenter some flexibility to put his website up. That'll be projected on the screen. We can then make it full view. A lot of stuff going on. In the studio, it also has advantages being a computer. Um, the ATEM HD switcher, the Blackmagic ATEM HD, at the back, you can't load videos in for uh, your upstream key. You can load still shots, but not videos. So if you want to have a video as your upstream key, that's another job the Latte Panda can produce. I'll just give you a quick example. So I've put a little video clip up onto the Latte Panda. Uh, the big screen's up. I'll use, oh, by the way, we use a wireless keyboard and mouse. It's all built in one. I find that easier. I will just go and start that up. So do a double click and the program output, that should come up. And there we go. It's in, uh, we'll come across to here and I'll just make sure it's on loop for us. So that is on repeat. Okay. So now we've got that operating. Now what we can do is obviously that's the background and we want to come on air. I'll just click the on air button and there's the upstream key. So now we've got a video in the background. I find if you're doing studio settings and you can have video in your background, they become more realistic. Uh, some work, some don't. We've had failures like everybody else where we've done video thought, this will be fantastic. <laughs> and then we go to do it and it's like, oh, we won't do that one again. Uh, but what you find is shadow movements, there's a slight little bit of noise going in the background. So it just sounds a little bit less studio -y and more in line with them. As I said, that is one thing you can do with the uh, Latte Pan. So Latte Pan gives you a lot of flexibility to use on screen. The other thing is we use the um, 
max to also project uh, various backdrops. So when we switch, if you have a look at our multi-switcher video, you'll see how we switch. And we're actually using switch backgrounds, I mean switch upstream keys. The HD only has one upstream key. That means one picture only for your, ups, for your uh, green screen. So it'll only give you one video or one picture, and that's it. Uh, if you watch the other video, we, we managed to manipulate that with a piece of software into six pictures. Uh, so as we change angles, we can also change the pictures going on behind there as well. Now, some people say, well, you've got Max running in. I will just bring the Mac one up if I can uh, find where the Mac one is. Uh, which camera are you on? I think you're on camera two. Uh, let's cut to camera two. Ah, and we'll just take that off air. And there's camera two. So that is a direct feed now from our Mac. Now, a few people have written in and said, you talked about this as well. You, and, and by the way, that is uh, Final Cut Pro that is up there at the moment. They're just doing a bit of an edit on. Um, and they're saying they've tried it and it's not working. Uh, well, it's because the ATEM HD switcher is, well, in layman's terms, it's a pig. <laughs> it just won't read it. Uh, I managed to find uh, a guy on the internet and that is Sam Angelo. I'm going to put his link underneath. Thanks Sam for this. It is the Switch RX or Switch Res X piece of software and it is fantastic. You simply click it open, set your resolution and it will talk to your ATEM switcher beautifully. That is Sam Angelo. Thanks again buddy. That was a great piece of advice. I think it was as cheap as chips. I think it was 25 bucks or something to download that. Uh, we've got it on quite a few of our uh, Macs, so they'll actually talk to the ATEM switcher. So I hope that's clarified a couple of questions. There goes one of the hot rubs outside. Um, I hope that's clarified a couple of questions for you on some of the things, how we use the Latte Panda and how we connect our Macs to the ATEM switcher so the ATEM switcher can see it. Guys, until next time, I hope you take care. Look for our Patreons. Uh, yes, we're going behind the scenes of growing a successful business. Now, uh, and it's only $2 a week to be a patron. Um, and basically, we want to help people grow successful businesses, whether that's online or offline. Uh, last week, we talked about don't niche. That's a mugs game. It really is. And I don't know who came up with it. All sounds fine and dandy. It's absolutely a lot of rubbish. Um, that is not how the big boys play. That is not how you grow a successful business. And we talked about that. In this week's episode, I'm going to answer some of your questions that you uh, sent in. Some people sent some private questions in about that and just wanted some clarification. Uh, so I'm going to answer them that question. This week, we're going to be talking about it's all good and all fine and dandy having all this stuff and all this advertising going out. But how do you get people to pay attention? It's a three-step formula, and that's what we're covering in patrons this week. So for our patrons, stay tuned. That's coming up right now. Uh, for everyone else, thank you for joining us on YouTube once again. Hope you got something out of this video. We really do appreciate your support. Please like, share, make some comments, ask us some questions. We love doing the videos for you. Patrons, stay tuned. No matter what techniques or what equipment or anything we use and we share with you, the number one secret to success, whether you're face-to-face, -face, whether you're doing a keynote talk, whether you're online producing YouTube videos, is to be authentic. Dare to be you.